Let's see how to do the pre-order traversal of a binary tree using the recursive algorithm. So the idea is to start with the root node and then visit the current node, then visit the left subtree pre-order, and then visit the right subtree pre-order. So let's run through a quick example of how this would work. So we start with the root one, and we first visit the root. So in this case, we're just going to print it. Then we visit the left subtree pre-order. So we're going to call it with root two. So we're first going to visit the current node, and then we're going to visit the left. And then again, we visit the current node, and then the left. But there's nothing on the left, so we're done. And then we visit everything on the right, but there's nothing on the right, so we're done. So we're done with the left of two, so we'll move to the right. So visit the current node, and then visit everything on the left, there's nothing there, and then visit everything on the right, there's nothing there. So we're done with the right of two, and so we're done with the two, and so we're, do we're done with the left of one. So we now go to the right of one. So we visit the current node, then visit everything on the left, there's nothing there, and then everything on the right. So we have six. We visit the current node, and then we visit everything on the left. We have seven, so we visit the seven, then we visit everything on its left, there's nothing there, then everything on its right, there's nothing there. And then once we're done with the left of six, we will go to the right of six, but there's nothing there. So we're done with the right of three and with the right of one. And so we're done here. The final result is one, two, four, five, three, six, seven, which is the pre-order traversal of this tree. Let's see how to implement this. So we're going to have a function called preorder, which is going to take the address of the root node of the tree which we want to visit preorder, and we're going to return nothing because in this case we're just going to be printing the values as we visit them. So let's think of the base case. The base case happens when root is null, which indicates to us that the tree is empty, so there is nothing to visit. So we can return immediately. If root is null, we return. But if root is not null, then we first visit the current node. So we're going to print it. Then we visit everything on the left pre order. And then everything on the right pre order. And that's it. So let's quickly run through this function for an example to see that it actually works. So we have this again, this tree. We start with root one. And again, we check is root null? It's not null. So we're going to print the value one. And then we're going to call preorder passing in root arrow left. So the left child of one is two. So we're going to call left with root two. Again, we check is root null, root is not null. So we're going to print the value two. And then we're going to call preorder passing in the left child of two. The left child of two is four. Again, four is not null, so we're going to print it. And then we're going to call preorder passing in the left child of four. This time the left child of four is null because there is no left child. So this returns immediately because we had the base case. And so we're done with the left of four. Then we move to the right of four. But again, there is nothing there. So the right of four is null. So we had the base case and this returns immediately. At this point, the four returns. So we're done with the left of two. So we move to the right of two. The right of two is five. Again, root is not null, so we're going to print the value. And then we're going to call preorder, passing in the left child of 5, which in this case is null, so this hits the base case. And then call preorder with the right child of 5, which again is null, so this returns immediately. So with that, we're done with 5, which was the right child of 2. And then we're done with 2, which was the left child of 1. Then, once we're done with the left child of 1, we go call preorder, passing in the right child of 1. 
the right child of 1 is 3. Again, 3 is not null, so we're going to print the value. We're going to call pre-order, passing in the left child of 3, which in this case is null, so this returns immediately. And we're going to call pre-order, passing in the right child of 3. In this case, it's 6. So again, 6 is not null, so we're going to print the value. And we're going to call pre-order, passing in the left child of 6, which is 7. Again, 7 is not null, we're going to print the value. And we're going to call pre-order passing in the left of 7, which is null. So this is immediately the base case. And then passing in the right child of 7, which also is null. So we're done with the right as well. So with that, we're done with 7, which is the left of 6. Then we go to the right of 6, but there's nothing there, so we immediately hit the base case. Thus the 6 returns, and 6 was the right of 3, and 3 returns, which was the right of 1, and at that point we're done. So what is the time complexity here? We know that this function will get call n times, because we end up printing every single node in the tree. And every single of those calls will result in two calls. So we know, therefore, that the total number of calls will be 2n, n of which will be nodes which are not null, and n will be base cases with null nodes. So in case we have the base case, we do all of one work. And in case we don't hit the base case, we also do all of one work if we do not count the recursive calls because we're counting them separately. And so that gives us a total of all of n work. So the time complexity will be all of n. What about the space complexity? In this case, because we have a recursive function, when the function calls itself, the function itself occupies some constant amount of space, and also the function that it called occupies some amount of space. And the function will not return until the function that it called returns. So in the worst case, how many such functions will there be before they start returning? In this case, it will simply be equal to the height of the tree, because as soon as we hit the leaf node, we start to, they, these functions start to return. And in the worst case, their number will simply be equal to the height of the tree. So the space complexity will be O of H.